everyone this is Bhargav Sathar and today we are continuing with the propositional logic now in this today's session we will discuss uh, these many topics that is what is a tautology what is the contradiction what is a contingency and what are the logical identities now first let us understand what is a tautology now a tautology it is a proposition which is true for all values of its sub propositions okay uh, and in other words, a proposition, it is a tautology if it is true for all assignments of truth values. So that means if all the entries are true, then we can say that it is a tautology. Now let us understand what is a contradiction. So a proposition, it is a contradiction if it is always false for all assignments of truth values. So whenever if all the values or all the truth values are true, then it is tautology and all the values are false then it is a contradiction now let us understand third terminology then that is contingency so a proposition which is neither a tautology nor a contradiction is called a contingency so tautology contradiction and contingency so let us discuss examples based on this so the question is show that this p or not p it is a tautology now see uh, to prove or check whether it is a tautology or not first we need to create a truth table so in truth table see here in the given proposition we have p or not p so it is only one statement we have p or not p so that means p and not p okay as it is a one statement so there will be only two possibilities either it will be true or it will be false and last the last column will be the final statement that is p or not p okay so this will be the truth table now p so that means tf so either it is true or it is false now what will be not p uh, that is simply negation of p okay so tf so not p will be ft done now p or not p so what is or between two whenever any statement is true then it is true okay so in first we have tf so it will be t because anyone is true and in second one ft so it will be t okay so you can see that here uh, both the entries or all the entries are true so since all the entries in the last column the whole uh, final statement column are true so it is a tautology let us discuss second example and the question is check whether this p or q not p implies q it is a tautology contradiction or contingency first we will have to create a truth table okay so in truth table how many columns will be there so the first one obviously it will be this p and second it will be q now see the given statement is p or q so it will be p or q and then and not p so obviously there will be not p also and the combined statement that is this p or q and not p and last the final statement this implies okay so this many columns will be there okay so p and q so as uh, we have two statements so there will be total four possibilities either both the statements are true like this either both the statements are true or both the statements are false or anyone is true or anyone is false so that means tt tf ft and ff okay now p or q now what will be p or q it will be like this how see what is p or q if anyone is true then it will be true so t t so that means t t f anyone is true so that means it will be true f t then t and f f uh, both are false so it will be false now what will be not p for not p we have p is t t f f so its negation will be this f f t t okay now for the next column we will have to consider this p or q and this not p so consider this both columns okay now we want to uh, find the end of these two statements now what will be end so for end if both are true then it will be true otherwise false okay so in first entry we have tf so anyone is false so it means false uh, again tf so false and both are true so that means true and in last ft so it will be f and in last column this final statement so for final statement just consider this column and this implies q 
okay so we have this a implies b something so for f and t this f implies t so uh, only have to we have to consider this conclusion part so it will be t so then next ff both are same so it will be true and in third both are true so it will it will be true and both are false that means both are same so it will be true so uh, just consider this last column okay this last column we have all the entries as true so since all the entries in the last column are true so it is a tautology let us discuss another example check whether this p and q and not this p or q it is a tautology contradiction or contingency so again we need to create a true table okay so how many columns will be there so first so first p will be there then q will be there then this p and q then p or q and last not of this p or q and in last this whole statement so that means this whole statement okay so uh, this many columns will be there now there are two statements so there will be again four possibilities both are true both are false tf and ft so like this so tt tf ft and ff now for p and q we need to consider the p column and we need to consider the q column this blue portion okay now for end if both are true then it is true and otherwise it is false so tt so both are true so that means true then tf anyone is false so that means false then ft then false and ff then false okay and p or q for p or q if anyone is true then it will be true so in first it will be t uh, in second also it will be t in third also it will be t and in last both are false so it will be false now for this uh, next column we need to consider this column this blue portion so we need to just uh, find the negation of this so we have t t t f so we'll have f f f t like this easy now the last one for that we need to consider this column and this p and q column and in between there is an end so whenever both are true then it will be true otherwise it will be false so false 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 and in last false because any one is false so all the entries are false okay so just consider this last column all the entries are false so since all the entries in the last column are false so it is a contradiction if it, uh, it is true then it would be total logic now let us discuss what is the logical equivalence now two propositions are said to be logically equivalent if and only if they have the same truth values for every choice of truth values of propositions involved again if uh, uh, we have two statements and we can say that both are uh, both are logically equivalent if they have the same truth values for every choice of truth values of the whatever the propositions are involved so it is denoted by this symbol p equivalent to q and provided this p and q are propositions obviously now in other words two propositions this p and q are logically equivalent if and only if this p double implication q is a tautology so it is a result and this is important let us discuss some examples based on this so prove that this p or q and not p is logically equivalent to not p and not q both are same but logically both are same okay so first again we need to create a truth table for that so uh, how many columns will be there there will be p there will be q then p or q then this not p then this uh, end of both these statements so it will be p or q and not p and in last not p and q okay so this many columns will be there now again there are total two statements so we will have how many possibilities we will have four possibilities okay so either both the statements can be true both the statements can be false so that means ct then tf uh, any one is true and in last ft first one is false and second one is true and in fourth possibility that is both are false now for uh, the calculation of p or q we will have to consider these columns that is the p1 and the q1 now what is p or q 
what is p over q if any one is true then it will be true so here in first entry both are true so that means true then tf any one is true so it will be true then ft then that is any one is true so it means true and both are false so it, that means it means false now for the next column that is not p we will have to consider this first column that is p and it is negation of p so it is just simply the negation so we have ttff so we will have fftt okay for next calculation we will consider this p or q and this not p okay now uh, there is end in between so what is end how to calculate end if both are true then it is true otherwise false so tf false then tf false then tt it is true and last any one is false so that means it will be false and in last column uh, not p and q so we'll have to consider this q portion and the not p and there is an end in between so again both are true so that means true and otherwise it is false so the answer will be like this ff and tf now see uh, we have uh, constructed the truth table now how to check whether they are logically equivalent or not so the left statement is this so con consider this column and the right statement is this now consider all the entries okay so uh, you can see that all the entries are same that is ff ff tt and ff so all the entries are same so that means uh, we can say that it is logically equivalent now what is a duality law so two formulas are said to be dual of each other if one can be obtained by other by replacing this end by or and vice versa now the connectives this end and or that means the conjunction and distinction are called duals of each other now let us discuss logical identities now first this de morgan's law uh, these are only the statements so not of p or q and that is logically equivalent to not p and not q and in same way if we interchange the position of end and q we will get the second statement then second what is the associative law so p or q or r and it is logically equivalent to uh, p or q bracket and or r so in short it is associative so in short we can change the or, uh, we can change the brackets and in same way it will be true uh, for the end portion now what is a commutative law so the first one this p or q is logically equivalent to q or p so that means we can change the order and the answer won't change and in same manner uh, in end it will be true so that is the commutative law then idempotent law so that is p or p so that means p or p itself so p or p and that is obviously it will be p and in same manner p and p so it will be p again now what is a double negation law so that means negation of negation p that is p itself now what is a distributive law so uh, by its name we can distribute so how so p or q and r so that means we are just distributing the brackets so we can say that it is logically equivalent to p or q and p or r and in same manner if we change the order of and and or so we'll get this second statement next absorption law p or p and q and it is same as this p so that means this p is absorbing this p and q okay and in same manner this p and p or q so this p is absorbing p or q and it is same as p uh, let us discuss the example uh, see prove that this de morgan's law so just simply the question is prove de morgan's law and that is the de morgan's law that is not of p or q it is logically equivalent to not p and not q so again for that for logical equivalence the truth uh, the truth values must be same for just both the statements so uh, for truth table uh, there will be p then q not p then not q then p or q then not of p or q so that means the first statement and last the right hand side that means the second proposition okay so this many columns will be there now again there are two statements so we will have how many possibilities we will have four possibilities 
so either both are true both are false tf and ft okay now for construction of this not p we will have to consider this tt ff so it is simply the negation so we will have ff tt again for co the construction of not q just consider this tf tf so the negation will be ft ft now the next column is p or q so just consider this p and this q now what is or anyone is true so it will be true so it will be like this t t t and f then next for next column just consider this so it is the negation of this blue column okay so t t t f so we'll have f f f t and in last column we have this not p and not q so just consider this column and this column and, and for and if both are true then it is true otherwise false so it will be again fffft okay now see just consider this column and this last column can you see both are same or not so see in first triple ft and obviously in last triple ft so it is a law de morgan's law so since all the entries are same in the last column so hence it is proved Thank you.